Hey, it's Sherry. I just wanted to hop on really quick to share with you an experience that I've had over the past couple of years. So when I first got into oils, I knew that they could affect your mood. I knew that lavender has a calmative sort of effect. I knew that the citrus oils seem to be uplifting, but I didn't realize the variety of oils that are out there and the effects that they can have on your mood. And this is something that has really changed my life that I wanted to share with you as well. Especially since it is the middle of August and the last couple of weeks of August are really spent kind of preparing for the fall. September tends to be a month where our work schedules get a little more hectic. The kids' activities, getting back to school, and their, their activities tend to start ramping up. So it can be helpful to incorporate some oils into your life that will help you balance through that transition. So this is something that has really helped me throughout the last two years. Um, I love these three oils and I wanted to share them with you. So the first one is called Balance uh, Grounding Blend and it does exactly that. It is intended to help to ground you and balance you. Um, it has oils that are primarily evergreen, woodsy, scented, and those oils tend to have that kind of effect on us. So this is a blend that I love to wear on my pulse points or in the back of my neck before I head into a hectic day. If you're going into the office and you don't want to have a scent about you, then roll it on the bottoms of your feet. Um, and you can also let your kids use this one with a little bit of dilution with a vegetable oil or a coconut oil, another nut oil that you just have in your kitchen cabinet. Dilute it a little bit, rub it on the bottoms of their feet before they go to school because they can have some of the same worries and feelings of anxiety that we do. So that's my first one, Balance Grounding Blend. The second one is one that I tend to use a little more often in the afternoon, but it can be used at any time throughout the day. It's called Intune Focus Blend. And this one has a mixture of different oils in it. Um, some florals, some woodsy oils, there's patchouli in there, there's a lang ylang, there's sandalwood, amorous bark. And what this one does, the, the name says it all, it helps you to focus. So whenever you need to stay on task or, um, or really concentrate on a particular activity, that's one that can help you do that. So that's one that I tend to use in the afternoon when I tend to lose my concentration. And it's one that very conveniently comes in a roller top bottle that you can roll right on your kids' feet or their wrists. Um, before they go to school, if you find that they do have trouble focusing at school or when they and or when they get home from school and need to get down to doing their homework. And the third one that I want to share with you is called Serenity. And this one is, I just took a deep breath even as I, as I said the word because it really does kind of allow you to let go and it's it does have a calmative effect it has lavender in it which is used in aromatherapy for its calmative effects there's also sandalwood in there used for the same thing it has a really sweet warm aroma it can be diffused before you go to bed you can put a drop under your pillow um, you can wear this one on your neck or around um, your face where you'd be able to enjoy the smell and this one is one that kids tend to really gravitate towards because of its sweet almost powdery sort of smell um, so this is one that you may want to use with them after dinner when you want to promote some of those feelings of calm before they go to bed and again it's one that I would dilute with a little bit of coconut oil or another oil that you have in your kitchen cabinet for your kids. So those are three oils that can really change your mood, your experience, your day as you head into the busy time that is September 
and hopefully there are three oils that can really help you to manage through that transition from lazy days of summer, which I find are not really actually all that lazy, um, but they do tend to be a little bit quieter to the busyness of the fall. So if any of these have sparked your interest, please talk to me. We'll get you set up to have a really balanced transition.